Welcome back and today we're talking about Rent a Girlfriend episode 10. So like always, let's just jump into it. Episode 10 of Rent a Girlfriend, while there were some good moments, I enjoyed the episode for what it was. I kind of felt like it, it felt short a little bit, right, on what I was looking for, especially towards the end of the anime, right? This is only going for, I believe, 12 episodes, maybe 13 at most. So the fact that we're at the end game of this anime and we got this episode, I, I was kind of feeling down a little bit. It's not a bad episode. I just didn't like the whole Shizuru and Karibuyashi, I believe was his name. I didn't like the whole day that day. I feel like the episode spent way too much time on it, even though we did get a little hint uh, about Shizuru and Kasuya at the end, maybe a little bit of foreshadowing. But let's break the episode down. Let's talk about some of my favorite moments. Of course, the episode starts off with Ruka working with Kasuya. She is starting to work in the same job because she feels like that the Kasuya and Shizuru, since they're neighbors, they kind of spend way too much time together even though that's not the case because they really don't you know visit each other that much but nonetheless Ruka she's trying to make sure she can get as much time as she can with the man that she loves and I respect her for it of course we find out that uh Kari Buyashi I believe that's his name I'm gonna struggle with it but he is kind of sad he's been tweeting that you know he's very sad and Kasuya being a great friend that he is he doesn't want Kari Buyashi to lose like faith on women or, or maybe even like hate women right he, he wants to make sure that he is all right emotionally especially after everything that happened with Ruka and Kasuya and Kari Buyashi right like that whole relationship right there even though she was a rented girlfriend I mean that's a huge blow for any man but Kasuya sets up Chisuru and Karibuyashi to go on a date and it was a very fun date we got to see some of uh you know how, how Chisuru behaves when she goes on a date she's very cute she smells nice again nothing that we have not seen I, I really do think this episode spent way too much time on this date right uh, we see that she's just trying to help Karibuyashi get over the fact that Ruka kind of you know dumped him but at the end of the day she was a rented girlfriend she's trying to like help heal that wound that emotional wound that Kari, Ka, Ka, Karibuyashi has. I mean, that name, gonna kill me. But yeah, so Kasuya pretty much goes out and admits to Karibuyashi that, you know, she's sort of a rented girlfriend. He's been doing it since he broke up with mommy. We see that Kasuya is really a nice person. He cares about his friends. His friend Karibuyashi is hurting, so he's trying to fix that. He's trying to fix that for his friend. Kind of let him know, dude, you're not the only one that does this. I did it with Chisuru. It's just that, you know, we got caught a couple times and we have to downplay it for so long. But Chisuru is a rented girlfriend, so don't feel bad about getting a rented girlfriend, right? You just have to work on yourself to kind of, you know, boost your morale up so you can get a girlfriend. And that's exactly what Karibuyashi ends up doing after the date, right? He gets that confidence where he wants to get a legit girlfriend and that's good for him but he also told Chisuru he asked the question right and this is the part I'm, I'm saying that it's kind of like foreshadowing uh, he asked Chisuru have you ever fallen for any of your clients I'm guessing the answer is yes because I think she is falling for Kasuya little bit by little bit I'm, I'm, I'm really glad that she is I, I got a feeling that she's definitely falling for him now at the end of the episode of course we see that she leaves a note for Kasuya and Kasuya, and I've done this, I'm guilty of doing this. Uh, he starts overthinking stuff, right? He thinks for some reason, Chisuru wants to meet him because, you know, she doesn't want to be alone at night, and that's why they want to meet in the balcony. They even have the little sexy scene with uh, Chisuru and stuff like that. It was funny, but I knew off the bat that this dude is definitely overthinking stuff, right? And that was the case. Essentially, Chisuru wants Kasuya to rent another girlfriend, right? Rent somebody else that's new to the agency and she's kind of shy and, you know, she wants Shisuru to go out with her to kind of give her more experience, right? Like more and more experience when it comes to dating so she can get over her, her like, shyness, I, I'm guessing. That's the whole plan. And long and behold, this is going to be the fourth girl that we're going to meet in this anime. We're going to have four total, right? We're going to have Shisuru, Mami, Ruka, and now I believe her name was Sakura 
Sa Sakura Sawa Sumi, something like that. But yeah, her name is Sakura Sawa Sumi, and she's going to be the fourth girl introduced in this anime. So Katsuya is about to get a harem at this point. Hopefully all four of these girls meet up at once because I would love to see what's going to happen. Can you imagine if Mami, Shisuru, and Ruka meet up? Because I, I don't think we have seen Mami and Ruka on the same uh, room or, or I don't even think they've ever met. So if Mami was to show up and try to be like, you know, too friendly with Kasuya, you know Ruka is about to hit it with the one-two combo. So yeah, I would love to see all four of these girls kind of show up and, and meet each other because I have a feeling next episode, whenever we meet this uh, Sumi character, she's probably going to fall in love with Kasuya. I mean, my dude is definitely rolling with the harem right now. Honestly, even though this episode was definitely not the best, I did enjoy it because it's setting up a great season finale. And honestly, after this episode i cannot wait what's about to go down with the two or maybe three episodes that we got left i mean this season is definitely coming to an end and next season is about to be fire so definitely be on the lookout for my like review video that i'm going to be doing for the fall season but overall i like the episode can't wait for the rest but like always let me know what you thought of this episode go ahead leave a like subscribe and i will see you on the next episode <laughs>